How's it going, everybody? So, um, welcome back to another vlog. I know I haven't made one in a while. Just not really been much of anything. But, you know, it's a really pretty, nice Friday afternoon. I got off of work a couple hours ago, and, well, I got some new toys, and I just thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys my 2020 lawn care setup. So I guess that's what this video will be about. So, roll the intro. So to start out, we've got the Weed Eater. This is the FS91R, if you guys see that. It's commercial version. It's a really great Weed Eater. It's got the extendable speed feed head, which is nice. So you just tap it on the ground, that little button, and it extends out. It's got like the long shaft, the off button. It's really, really, really works well. It's done a good job for me. And it's pretty nice. Um, I, I actually edge with it for most of the time just because it does such a good job. Which, well, let me grab my actual edger. It's really dark in here. That's the actual edger, is this. You can see, I actually just got it back from the shop. Right here. Four stroke tor uh, Troy belt. It's, it gets the job done, but it's just not what I like. So that's, what this, that's where this one comes in. Um, then for the blower, I actually probably went a little bigger than I need. Um, I could have gone handheld, which is probably what I should have done, but I just decided, hey, why not go ahead and splurge on something a little nicer. This is the BR350. It is the it is another commercial backpack. I, all my all my equipment's commercial just because it's a little lasts longer and everything. But you know, it's it's pretty good. I like it a lot. It's got nice adjustable straps. It's got the throttle hold, so if you need to. You can lift this up, and you see how the trigger goes in, so it holds, and then you push all the way down to turn off. Oh yeah, something I didn't show guys. So this, this lever right here is the choke, this little black thing. You push in, twist down, and then um, just listen closely whenever you press the trigger. It makes like a little clicking noise that turns the choke off. Same with the weed eater, you put it on choke, then you pop it back. But yeah, that's pretty much all in my 2020 lawn equipment. It's not really much. It's not anything fancy, but it gets the job done for the seven yards that I have, just making a little side money. So they definitely work, that's for sure. And I guess we might as well get on to the sounding of all the mowers, start up of all the mowers and equipment. Okay, the pretty nice. Very good power. I've actually had the weed eater for about two months now. Blower not as long. Or no, sorry, the blower I've had for about three months, the weed eater about two months, so it really works though. And you got to start. Put it on half choke. This is the only one I've ever had a startup problem. That works. That's for sure, but yeah. I guess that'll sum up my 2020, um, 2020 setup tour, and, well, not everything. I got a couple more things, but might as well just pull out what I use for gas and stuff. So, actually, this was my old blower. This is actually what I used before I got the B350. This is actually an uh, ex, uh, Husqvarna. Uh, you can see the starter pole broke. I just can't quite see that, yeah. It didn't have enough power for me, so I just went ahead and got something bigger, and then you got the four stroke, just got it back from the shop, new carb in it. It works fine, I gotta get a new edger blade for it. Got your two stroke mix for the blowers and the weed eaters. Um, you've got the, just five gallon can for the actual mower. And I got my three other mowers. I've got the standard 21 inch uh, non self propelled push mower. Uh, it works fine. I don't really use it very often because I don't, you know, I got the 30 inch. Uh, then you, this is that's actually what I had. I've been having a lot of problems with it. That's why it's kind of disassembled like this. Uh, it's actually, it's a snapper self-propelled 30 inch mower. It works fine. It just doesn't quite start up all the time. Doesn't have a lot of power. So I just got something a little different. Um, got my three pound roll of weed eater line. 
because when you're edging you burn through a lot of it pretty fast so that gets it done I've got my roundup can so for flower beds and stuff all of the shovels these are actually my dad's he lets me use them if I need them though um, your friskers limb choppers they work pretty well for just small tree trimmings and stuff like that I've actually got the pole saw if I can't reach it with a chainsaw this work I mean it's not I don't like it very much but if I have to I got it and then you got chainsaw I don't really want to take it out just because it's such a pain it's a home light 18 inch bar chainsaw it gets the job done it's not as powerful as I want I actually want to upgrade to a farm boss commercial steel saw um which is really nice but you know can't have everything I want but I guess just to say before I let you guys go I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of the bottom sorry there's grass everywhere I actually just washed it for my first day see if you guys can yeah see you can see it the dual blades you got one two it stays pretty clean under there that's the chute uh, right there behind the blade but yeah it works pretty well so far have had zero problems with it and I hope to have no problems but if you guys have any questions um my comments have been disabled I don't know why so go to just go to my Instagram which will be linked in the description which along with links for all of these um which the links will be towards Laurelwood. That's because that's where I use. That's where I bought all of my equipment. Um, best equipment company if you're in North Augusta. Just they're really, really great. And, you know, not too far, about 15 miles from my house. So it's not bad, but I guess I'll let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, any questions, go to my Instagram link in the subscription. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content, more vlogging content, and maybe, I don't know, if you guys want it, I can do some more landscape content as well so just let me know on instagram and if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see more content like these videos and I'll see you guys later goodbye so i'd say it'd be best to start off with the most recent purchase which would be my xmark commercial 30 it is a 30 inch commercial mower it's used which i really wish i didn't have to buy something used but these things go for about two thousand dollars brand new and it's only a year and a half old so it's still perfectly fine I got it for 650 bucks has no problems with it I actually did my first cut with it today this afternoon which is great um, it's a pretty nice mower it's got your just so with this one you actually it actually doesn't turn off unless you actually turn a lever down but this is how you turn the blades on you press down this little piece it's harder to do one-handed you bring down the top lever and your blades will turn on um, but it will still stay on if you let go of that so then you can just bring this up to go forwards um, you've got your one gallon fuel tank which is really helpful I don't have to carry gas around with me anymore um, got your air filter which is a pretty beefy air filter it really does a good job um, you got your um, just kind of support around the mower to give it some support and some structure um, you got your actually this is so this is how you turn it off so that would be what you would normally mow on you can see that is on the full and then if you were to cut it off you bring it all the way back to the stop position um, it's got the fuel filter oil filters um, and then you got your bag of course which is a little bit it's a little raggedy I'm actually probably gonna buy a new bag but it gets the job done um, for the back this is how you raise and lower it you grab this lever you pull up and to lift up you pull it up higher and you let go and it'll go back down I keep it on about two and a half inches because it's just a good cutting height in my opinion um, and then you've got the front tire adjustment which for that you just lift this up and then the wheel it's hard it's so hard here let me set you guys up Let's see if this will make it a little bit easier for you guys to see how it works just so you get a good idea so you've got lift up pull out and then your wheel your whole wheel has come out and then you look it has a little number adjustments on it and you lift it back up pull your handle 
it's still a little tight because it's not very old. There you go. And you can adjust the wheels like that. Which, honestly, not going to lie, that'd be the only problem with it that I don't like, which is it has no problem. You know, it's, I don't adjust the whole bunch, so it's not a big deal, but it works. Um, this specific mower has a dual blade system, side discharge, and it's mulch capable, but I don't really mulch any of my yards. I actually bag all of them. Um, and I'll show you guys just a little quick run at the end of the end of the video. So let's get on to the hand tools. So I'd say it'd be best to start with the mower before anything else so you can put it on choke and then you sounds pretty good um But as, as you can see with this mower, it starts up first pull every time, which is really nice. It definitely helps with efficiency on the jobs. Um, next thing is, got the blower. Put it on choke. There you go. Now you got the blower. Works fine. 